Well, you wrote the widow's guide to sex and dating. You're doing this new amazing campaign with these condoms. Adam is coming by and standing outside your window during quarantine (laughs) and waving hello. Not that those have anything to do with each other, but it leads to my question of like, what is going on, Carol? Are you single now? Are you seeing anyone? Tell me everything. Um, I, I'm, I'm single. I'm not married. But I'm dating. But I, you know, I'm going to say this because it's sort of like one of the great things about being not being on a reality show is your private life can once again be private. And I don't mind sitting talking to you and analyzing housewives, you know, 10 ways from Sunday um, and giving my perspective. But like, I feel like I feel like it's really nice to just have a private life and not have to um, see your your love life across, you know, page six and TMZ and and um, so I'm not gonna say, but but I'm definitely single and not um, you know not getting married anytime soon. I don't listen, know married, but. Well, when you and I go out for drinks, we can keep yeah. it downtown. And then you can tell me and everything that happens off the air stays off the air. That oh, that's, is true. That's what they used to say at Housewives. No, no, no. This is like, really, like I, there's a hard <laughs> line between, because otherwise, yes, for real. Well, thank you for that. Um, is there anything else? Listen, you remember when we first sat down and you said, oh my God, is this going to be more than half an hour? And I said, just give me an hour. I'm so sorry to have kept you. For so no, 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 that's okay. That's okay. I, 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 it's my fault too because I am very long-winded. Another aspect no one saw on the show. I can talk out a subject like nobody's business. Well, I can also read the room. Like I get a sense of like if someone means like okay, it's a hard hour. Like trust me, we're out. But I was like, I think she's okay with talking for a little more. And then can we play a game like what the headline, what the out of context, like Carol shades headline is going to be or carol slams well when i had heather on and she was talking at the end i said to myself there's no question the headline is 100 going to be heather thompson says fire everyone and start over and sure enough the headline <laughs> was fire i mean it literally was just like that was sometimes it's clear oh, what, what, good, because they won't use that headline with me, even though that was, I said fire everyone and the production company. So because they've already used that headline. It's like, what, oh. what will your headline be? That is, listen, there's, there's a lot here. Yeah, to I, know, I feel like, I feel like I've, I've, as always, I've said a lot and uh, you know, it's, it's all uh, in, in the context of just, you know, I my- asked you, and it's my perspective, having been on the show for six years and now three years out. Well, I, a lot of people will say like, cause you know, I get my own series of hate, but not a lot. But like when I had people on, they're like, shut up. Why is this person still talking about this? I'm like, because I invited them on and that's I know, what that, I talked that's about. That's absolutely right. That's what it will. That's I'm what, like, you're not I waking up to talk about, about this. In about fact, you, you, no. you avoided me for like two years. So like, <laughs> l- 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 let the record show from my law days that Miss Raswell did not necessarily run into behind the velvet rope here. No, no. But, um, but yes, that will be the headline. Like, why is she so... But let me just say, like, it, 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 I treat it like a job, right? I'm still talking about, I mean, my time at ABC News is 15, 14 years. So, of course, I still talk about my experiences at ABC News. Of course, I spent six years at a show, which is, again, longer than most scripted shows last. And that becomes a big part of your life story. So, of course, I'm going to reflect back on my experience and my time. I'm going to be doing that until I write my my second memoir when I'm 70 and I'm going to reflect right back on my six years in reality television. Hopefully by then I'll have even a greater perspective, but this is what you do. And it's like, because we're women, I think it's like, we're not, we're supposed, you know, I've moved on, but part of moving on is putting your life experience, AKA my time on Roni in perspective. So that's all it is. And it is no different than scripted. Like I've had people on from like Saved by the Bell, 90210. Like, yes, we're going to talk about Gabrielle Carteris as the president of SAG and your new book. Sorry, most of it's going to be about 902. It's just like we all do something in life where like that is just the thing people want to talk about the most. That's just how pop culture works. Right. And we're all informed by our experiences. We're informed by the experiences we had in childhood and then by our college and our first jobs and our, you know, we're informed by those experiences that make us who we are today and the ability to look at that and reflect back and discuss it with people like you who are very knowledgeable in this particular field. 
of reality and specifically real housewives it's it, it's it's um it doesn't indicate that you know i uh want to shade the show or bravo or or uh say mean things about my castmates it's just an it's a uh it's a, it's a way we we all do this all the time it's just that it's a little more public when you're talking about real housewives and it's not something you wake up and talk about every day it's well, like you're, you're on a podcast where well, that yeah. is the main thing I talk to the press i just don't i don't but 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 heather said she had a really nice time on your podcast and and she said you were a lawyer so I was like, uh oh, okay. And I had a company that I sold way back in the day. So like a staffing agency. I've had like I've reinvented myself many times. Yes, I am a lawyer. Does it help me do this job? Yes, it does. Of course. But I'm glad. I think Heather was the reason you came on. I think that was the final thing that you're like, if Heather vouches for him. Well, she she did, and but you had been writing to me met, way before that, and and um. And I, yes, I just kept putting it off, putting it off. And then Heather did say, uh, no, 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 she vouched for you. And uh, so, yeah, you know, listen, it, it's not, it, it's, it's fine. And it's interesting. It's nice to talk to people who have a perspective also. And you can ask me, you know, questions, specific questions. And I don't have to explain what the show is about and you get it. I just love hearing from people like, cause I kind of know how it all works too, you know, without like, so I love hearing wait someone else's comes out. Wait till this book comes out that Andy Cohen edited. Oh boy. It's an oral history. So well, I know someone who wrote a different book, which I'm actually in, believe it or not. But okay. the person that wrote that book, I know wouldn't do this book. Like, I mean, I don't really want to tell his story, but like, I think Bravo right. tried to get involved and he's like, I don't want Andy Cohen editing my book like I want to actually um, but but let me just say for that book we were we were all all the housewives got an email from the top top um mark uh communications director this woman Jen Geyser um yeah. to uh giving us permission I mean I've never seen like they were like card blanche permission to say whatever you wanted to say um you didn't have to check back with Bravo if uh, the author Dave Quinn called you. We were giving you permission in this email to talk about anything and everything. And I was like, "This is this is new." So then he did call a couple times, and I again, I, I said, "No, no, no, whatever." And then we ended up talking, and we had a like a conversation like this, which went on for several hours, and we just laughed the whole time. And I'm sure, on paper, it's not going to seem as funny, but let me just tell you, it was really we had a good laugh about ev everything. I don't take myself that seriously. This is why I like doing a podcast because I'm like, it's just on air. I see. I like told you you would have fun. I'm like, it's going to be lighthearted shade. <laughs> and I love how out of every question I asked you, the hardest one was Bethany Luann or Aviva. That, that was your, that was your hard question. That, 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 that's the one that you're just like anything but this. I get 